So guys, this is the King's 75 litre fridge. This is their new model. If you remember the old ones, they were the blue casing. Another power socket here for DC. Fair enough, it's not too bad. These are actually solid. So that's gonna be a good tie down point. Uh, what else have we got? Latches. Now, after pulling on it upwards for about half an hour, you actually push down to go up. So when you're at the campsite and you've got your mates pulling up on it, nearly snapping it off, just tell them to go down, straight up. They are dual opening, so you can just pick whatever side you like. They will have to prove themselves with this new handle design. I am sort of a uh, hinge and latch kind of guy. Hence why I got the old fridge. Um, but hey, I don't know, I don't know. I do like the bag. So we've got two USBs here, AC power, and then your DC. That's already ripped off, so we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, that's good to know. So there you go, if that comes off, you can just push it straight back in. Don't get alarmed. Where was I? 12 volt. Okay, so let's run through some of the controls here. So we've got your cooling up and down, your eco, max mode, as well as your battery protection. This is your USB connection. So interesting thing, they actually only work when you've got your DC connected. So it's even a warning printed on there. Vents, I think go right around actually. So I've gone through the manual and it looks like they've done away with actually having to um, have your left bin cooler than your right bin, all that sort of combination with the old fridge. You can just flat out choose whichever one you want to be a freeze, fridge or a freezer. Because the old one you could only use the right as a freezer and this one either had to match the temperature or be warmer. So there's the bin and here's the other side. They do have this extra lip here, that's to help with cooling. So that's why they've been able to get rid of that massive seal on the old fridge. They've gone to this thinner system here. So there you go. Uh, the manual doesn't say much at all actually. Uh, I got most of the information off the description on the webpage. So usage was calculated to be one to one and a half amps. Okay, so fridge is hot. Tell you a cool thing. Yes, that ripped off again. So what I was gonna show you is actually, if you've got a 12 volt connected, as soon as you plug in the 240, it actually detects it and stops using 12 volt and goes straight to 240. Now, I would have put this one here and that one there because if you look at this, you're in a bit of a pickle trying to run both. That's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it's little things like that. So swapping those around would have been more beneficial. I guess you can just rip this out, chuck it on the other end. Maybe that's what they had in mind, but there you go. Currently running at 5.6 amps. Let's plug in the 240. It's reset itself and that's gone down to a resting amperage. Still using a trickle amount. I reckon it just cut it completely. So, what's going on there? I wonder if they're allowing you to still use the USB ports or having that in this. Let's test that out. Okay, so let's try this. That torch should go red. So there you go. So if you're running 12 volt with the 240 connected, you can still use these. You won't see that anywhere. Look at that. I think I'm gonna leave it there actually, folks. So I'm really impressed with this fridge. It's very sturdy, looks tough, and I think it's gonna go all right. So please subscribe, like this video, and head over to my other videos if you want. I'm doing a caravan build. It's all happening. See you next time.